Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Apino and uh, in this video today we'll be seeing about some updates on the ESIC insurance medical officer exam. So uh, we have already made a video about the ESIC, ESIC insurance medical officer exam, the details, uh, how to, uh, when to apply and who are eligible, all those things have covered already in a video. So if you haven't watched that video, please do watch that video. That is, uh, you can just click the link that is shown above. So I make sure that you watch the video and then come back to this video so that you can have a better understanding. So recently after uh, doing that video, uh, I've got uh, many questions about the exam. So I uh, came in contact with a person who was working as an insurance medical officer. So I got a chance to ask uh, your questions to him and uh, got a few answers. So I really thank him for that. So I'll be sharing those things in this video and uh, mainly we'll be seeing about uh, uh, can you do PG after the insurance medical exam? When will the exam probably be? All those things I've covered in this video. So please watch this video completely to have a better understanding. So before we start this video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe and uh, let's start. So basically what type of work are usually expected from the insurance medical officer? So the work time is basically uh, six hours duty and uh, your work will be depending on where you are being posted. For example, if you are being posted in the casualty or uh, emergency, then you will have to see the emergency cases. But if you are being posted in the wards, then you will have to carry out the ward works. If you have been posted in the OPDs, you will have to do the OPD work and OPD procedures and all those things will be done by you. So the work is basically like a work of a doctor and uh, not like a kind of management work. So this is uh, actually really a good option because the duty hours is only six hours. And in the ESA hospitals, what generally I came to know is that uh, resources are limited. So it would be like kind of uh, working in a government facility only. So with limited resources, uh, you will have to work. So usually uh, these are the types of work done in the, as an insurance medical officer in the ESIC hospitals. So can we do PG after joining ESIC? So yes, so we'll have to work in, uh, I work at, uh, work as an insurance medical officer for five years, after which you'll be granted uh, steady leave, permission of three years. So during this five years, uh, at least in the third year, you will have to apply for no objection certificate, all those clearances to do PG exam. And uh, you should uh, keep in contact with your seniors and the, the uh, managing directors of the hospital, you, you will have to contact them regarding your uh, PG study leave and then it will be done. But I've also read in a website which uh, said that ESIC allows doctors to do PG only if they think the doctor's uh, extra qualification is going to help to the hospital. So uh, disregarding this, but usually most of the ESIC insurance medical officers are uh, given a chance to do their PG courses so you will have to work for five years at uh, as an in, uh, insurance medical officer and then you will be granted steady leave to do your pg so after doing pg you will have to come back and work at esc so what is the average salary so uh, the average salary for an mbbs doctor including all the extra allowances like non-practicing allowances uh, uh, house allowances, all those things, it comes, comes up to nearly 98,000 to 1 lakh. So this is the usually kind of starting salary for MBBS doctor at uh, ESIC as an insurance medical officer. But it, it varies slightly upon uh, where you are being posted, which city you are being posted, so how big is the institution and all those things. But the average starting salary is kind of very good for an MBBS doctor. So will they provide quarters uh, for stay? Yes, usually if the quarters are available, you will be provided with the quarters to stay. But if not, you will have to stay outside, but they will pay for that. So that is the house allowance. It will be paid for paid for you also. So usually uh, the quarters are available because uh, not many doctors are there. So it's a good option also. So is there any bond should be paid to break the bond? No, there is no bond uh, in the ESIC. So but you will have to give one month prior notice if you want to leave the, leave the job. So usually because of there is no bond, there is no stress on you. So you can leave uh, 
uh, giving a prior notice that is before one month uh, and then you can leave the job so can pg doctors work in their specialties yes so if you are a pg doctor then uh, you'll be most of the times most of the names will be posted in the esic hospitals under your department so if you are a, a surgeon then you will be posted in the surgery department but in some cases what has happened is that if if there are no uh, uh, insurance medical officers then you will have to do their work also or if you have been posted elsewhere where there is uh, your specialty is not there then you will have to again uh, work as a general practitioner but most of the times if you are a pg doctor you will uh, get to work in your specialty previous year questions uh, materials to study so i have been uh, searching for the previous year questions because this exam is not well known there is uh, usually the resources are very very much limited so uh, i'm almost uh, trying to find the 2018 2019 uh, exam question paper and so we'll see if if i get that question paper then uh, we'll try to solve it together also we'll have a special uh, video on that so what materials are required to study for this exam so the materials usually are uh, the materials that you have used for the upsc cms exam those books are uh, enough for this exam but if you are also preparing for neat pg or any other exam then those materials is also enough for this exam so the some of the books uh, that will be useful for uh, studying this uh, insurance medical officer exam that i have given in the description please do check that test check those books also so if you are already preparing for neat pg with any other apps then uh, that that is uh, really enough for this exam so we'll try to find out the previous year questions and we'll see about this so how many months of preparation is needed so usually the paper is uh, easy to moderate so 3 to 6 months of preparation is usually enough but since that you are also being preparing for other other exams competitive exams then uh, this uh, should make your preparation more easier so generally uh, if you are starting new then 3 to 6 months of preparation is more than enough so where will the interview happen so after uh, you are given the exam for the interview you will have to select the state where you want to work for example if you want to work in delhi then uh, you will be your interview will be at uh, delhi office if you want to work at chennai then your interview will be at chennai office so the, the interview you do not have to worry about it so wherever you want to work the interview will happen at that place so probable exam date so this was kind of shocking for me so i, I was checking about the 2018 exam you uh, this esic imo exam uh, the application process had started on 12th october 2018 and application pro process ended on 10th november 2018 but if you see here the esic conducted imo examination on december 26 2018 so the application process ended on 10th november but the exam uh, happened on december 26 so it's kind of like a one and a half month period after the notice where you'll have to prepare for the exam so this year they have uh, released that the uh, application process will start on 31st of december and then uh, it will be till 31st of january so the exam might probably be on uh, march or april so do not worry about it because most of them are being uh, preparing for the neat pg exam uh, for the march so your preparation must have already been started so nothing to prepare specially for this exam those preparation is uh, enough for this exam so make sure that uh, you have if you haven't started preparing you should start preparing by now so you can uh, clear this exam easily because the paper is not very tough in this exam and plus for this year the vacant seats are like uh, above 1000 so it's kind of easy for you to uh, get placed also so this exam is uh, basically for uh, people who who want a good mm -hmm. work life balance uh, who don't want a stressful life and uh, so this is kind of just a 6 uh, 6 hours to 8 hours job and you will be having good free time and the salary the pay is also good but uh, your career progression will not be very much as compared to doing uh, mddm or ms mch those kind of things but uh, this exam is very much suitable 
for uh, candidates who choose who prefer to join like UPSC CMS. So this is kind of an alternative exam because you see UPSC CMS and this exam, both both of them uh, the career progression is not uh, very much as compared to uh, MDMS, but the pay and the job or the work life balance is all good. So. If you do not get placed in UPSC CMS, do not worry, you have another option that is ESIC IMO. So this is also a good option for you. And uh, if you have any questions, please do drop down in the comment section. We'll discuss about it also. And uh, I'll try to get the previous year questions as much as possible. And uh, so that's all for this exam. So if you, want, uh, if you want to know anything else, please do let me know in the comment section. And yes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe. So that's all for today. Thank you.